What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Dre back with another video. And today I'm gonna be working on, let me see, I got the actually the Elder Block. Yeah, the Elder Block valve covers. Let me put these on and replace these. And really, it's gonna be pretty easy. The only thing you need to do is remove this first. Um, just pop this up, it should pop out actually. Pretty easy, and then unscrew these only four bolts. I think it takes uh, 11 millimeter. I believe I just had this before. I think it takes 11 millimeter. Oh, yeah, here it is. Yeah, this is the socket you're gonna need to take those off with. So, I'm gonna go ahead and unscrew these, see if I can slide these out, pop this off, and then replace these. This should be like a 20 minute job, no longer than that, really, to replace these. Clean it up a little bit, make it look better. So I might go and change these out, replace these, replace the gaskets, and get straight to it. All right, so it's actually gonna be harder than I thought. What I had to do was I actually had to take the belt off, loosen this up, take the uh, pulley off. Just a couple of bolts on what I had to do. So it can actually lean forward like this a little bit so I can actually pull it out because these two bolts right here and then this also and then this wire is blocking it. From me pulling it out so now I can actually just lean that forward and then lift these out and it should be able to come out. All right, so these are the new um, valve covers. They already came with the little pins. So what I do is put them in there. That's how they look. Um, I already got one already done. Matter of fact, I already got the edit block. Um, reasonable gaskets, so as you can see. Um, this how it look. And I already got everything already. Let me show you. Already covered up, so all I gotta do is just line it back up, put it in there. Only my only question I have right now is I'm gonna look it up. Is this one got it has the valve thing for it, but on the passenger side it has an oil cap, so I don't really know if I need it or not. If I, if it's gonna be covered up already, because as you can see, it really just keeps it from anything just goes in there. So, but if I want to change the oil, that means I have to take the whole cap off, or I don't know how that works. So. But yeah, um, I'll figure something out. But anyways, though, I'm gonna uh, look forward to that today and um, continue putting this back together. What's happening, on YouTube, man? As you can see, it's a whole other day. Um, so basically, I had to take those uh, valve covers back because, as you can see on this side right here, it got some oil cap. So I need an oil cap on the other side, but it didn't have that. So um. Uh, I checked to see if they had any that fit. They didn't really have any chrome ones that uh, fit this application. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take these old ones off. As you can see, I already got the driver's side off. It's back here. I'm going to just take the driver take uh, driver and the passenger side off. I already got the gaskets because I needed some new gaskets. As you can see, these old gaskets are really worn and they lay through. So I'm going to take all these old gaskets off. I'm going to clean these real good. And I'm actually going to paint them. I'm going to do probably gold because... I got a little concept I'm gonna do with the car, the color concept I'm gonna do so. And then I was thinking kind of hard about it. I probably just do them the same color, but I thought about it. That's like, nah, I ain't gonna leave it the same. I'm gonna do something a little different. So I'm gonna do them probably, I'm gonna spray paint them gold. I'm gonna um, clean them real good, prime them, and um, yeah, paint them. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to remove these hoses to actually take this off because these hoses are in the way. I might have to remove this tool and lift it up for it. I don't think so because. It's not really in the way, it's really just these hoses and this big hose as you can see. So once I take these hoses off, remove them, this should be able to pop off and I do that. And um, 
since this is dirty as well, I'm going to actually be taking this off too. That probably will be in the next video because I have to take more stuff off. So that'll be in the next video, which will be a little bit longer. So I'm going to take that off as well, do that gold as well. So what I'm about to do now is try to take this off Moody's hoses and um, get straight to it. And, um. All right, so I finally got the valve cover off. All I had to do is take this hose off uh, right here and then remove this little hose right here as well, which is connected to this. That was in the way, so I moved these out of the way. We'll get it a little bit, got it out, and as you can see, most of the um, head gasket actually still stuck to it. So I'm gonna go in and peel the rest of it off. Um, get it cleaned up real good, and um, these don't look as bad as well. So I'm gonna keep continuing moving forward. Take this back there, clean this up. And um, yeah, since I got both of them off, I'm gonna go ahead and clean them off right quick. Cover this gasket up. I mean, this little valve covered up since I got that one already covered up. Cover this up right quick and um, get the cleaning these. All right, as you can see, I got one, uh, the header taped off, cleaned up. Uh, I actually sanded it down a little bit too, so all the chipping can go away and it can be actually a smooth surface when I paint it. As you can see, I'm already starting on this. I already got a primer on this and only did one coat. I let it sit for a minute. I'm gonna add a second coat. I'm gonna do one more coat. I'm gonna do three coats of primer. If I do the three coats of primer, I'm gonna do, where I put my cans at? Here we go, this is the color. I'm gonna make them. It's gonna be this one, this color gold. So I'm gonna do that color right there. And then once I get done, I'm gonna do probably like four or five coats of that. And then once I get done, I'm gonna hit it with this clear coat. Probably like three coats of these, probably three or four coats of these. And then, yeah, let y'all see how it turned out. So right now I'm gonna probably add two of my coats of the primer on here. Let it sit, let it dry. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is add a gold. So I'm gonna catch up whenever I get done doing this. All right, so that's how it look right now, man, so far with this coat on. So I put like probably like three, four, I think I put like three coats on or four. I don't know which one so far, but this is how it looks so far, man. And I ain't gonna lie, I'm actually glad I actually chose to go with gold because this actually looked good so far though, man. Like that gold was standing out and I ain't even put the clear coat on it yet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep them hit a little, probably like two or three more coats. I'll probably say two more, I ain't gonna do three more. I'm gonna probably do two more coats. And then I'm gonna hit the rest up with uh, probably three more coats of that and I'm gonna set it outside. And let y'all see how it look when I take it outside after I finish putting the clear coat on there. So I'm gonna finish it up right quick. Let it dry right quick after I finish spraying it. And then take it outside and let y'all see how it look. All right, y'all, so I'm finally done and it's the finished product. This is how it looks so far, man. And I ain't gonna lie, I like how it came up. Mm, it look way better than it did before, 10 times better. So right now I'm gonna let it sit in the sun, really. For a couple hours with it dry and I'm gonna take it back in the house because I know it's supposed to rain tonight or whatever so I ain't want it to get rained on let it sit I'm probably let these dry for like probably two days so they can be fully dry because I know they can go back on the head and it's gonna be real hot so I'm gonna let all that really sit on there and get dry pretty good so what I'm about to do is get the next one you already know it's gonna come out looking the same as this one so I'm gonna finish clean that one up a little bit uh prime it paint it bring it out here let it bake in the sun a little bit as well and then yeah that's gonna be it for the day after that all right, now as y'all can finally see, I'm done with both sets, man. They came out great. Actually, better than I actually thought. They came out way better than I thought. So I got both of the coats in there a lot. I put a couple coats in there, a lot of coats, really. Make sure it actually sticks. So I'm going to let them sit outside for a couple hours, man. So that'll be it for today's video. Um, next video, you're probably going to see me actually removing the manifold and take so I can actually get that the same color as these because I don't want to put these in there and that'd be missing. And then I'll send the intake manifold be dirty and everything so i'm going to take that off for the next video and um paint that same color as well clean it off as well you know what i'm saying and get it looking good and put everything back together so with that being said man i hope y'all like comment and subscribe this will be it for today's video man and i'll catch you on the next one